Hello everyone. My name is Alexandra and I will be narrating this video on Good Golf's channel today. We will be looking into using the Steam VR laser pointer on a user interface first. Then we will take a look at the voiceovers created using text to speech. Select options to make changes to the game options. Select load game to load a game in progress. Select new game to create a new character. Select load game to load a game in progress. Select options to make changes to the game options. Click on exit to leave the game. Select options to make changes to the game options. Select load game to load a game in progress. Select new game to create a new character. Click on exit to leave the game. Okay let's take a look at how the buttons have been set up. Each button has a box collider added which slightly protrudes from the panel it sits on. You will notice it extends further than the voiceover boxes we will be showing next. The voiceover objects contain the triggered voiceover script which deals with playing the voiceover text when the laser pointer is intersecting the collider. On the right hand of the Steam Player object I attach the Steam Laser Pointer object and the Steam Laser Pointer wrapper which deals with the user interface interactions. I will leave a link to the original code of the Laser Pointer wrapper which I modified to include the voice over trigger functionality. As you can see in the code the wrapper adds functionality for the pointer click interfaces which the user interface components all have implemented. So effectively it adds sensitivity for the user interface to the laser pointer. The code I added checks to see if the object has been tagged as voice over and contains the trigger component. If so then it will play the sound. By introducing the previous voice over variable I ensure the voice over plays only once. The trigger code ensures that a voiceover clip being played does not get interrupted. How did I create these voiceover audio clips? Well that is pretty simple. I use this component to send text to the Google Cloud and I get the audio clips in return. You will need to get a Google Cloud account however check for a trial version first. I'm still running on a free trial. I did modify the code a little to save the audio files and to load a set of sentences in batch but that's fairly simple to accomplish with this component. Click on exit to leave the game. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so then please give it a thumbs up.